Hi everybody. Faces are hard. By default, you're likely to get a scrunchy face. There are some scenarios in which that might work for your purposes, but most likely you want a more pleasing face or a beautiful face, one of those photorealistic faces. Always keep in mind that Midjourney is a text-to-image AI generator. Text-to-image. Words matter. Words are very important. The more descriptive, the better. Let's start with a prompt. A man coming home from work. Oh, we get the back of the guy. In many cases, that's okay. Indeed, in storytelling in film, you do not always see the character fully facing the camera. Don't think that the face always has to be fully in the image. But this video is about faces. Let's get this guy facing the camera. Tip number one, start your pump with the word portrait. In this example, I have remix mode enabled. It will make a variation of this image. Okay, we see him facing us, but we got the scrunchy face. That's no good. Tip number two, add a modifier that describes the person. For a man, you can say handsome if that's what you want. We're going to remix this prompt and add the word handsome. Now those faces are much better. Tip number three. For more control of the type of person that Midjourney generates, you can specify an age of the character. Let's see if we can work from this first image and make this guy into his 40s by specifying an age of 45. I will add the words 45 years old. I almost always use an age in my character pumps. I have noticed that Midturney does better with younger characters. It seems to prematurely age older characters. These guys look a bit older than 45. We're also in a very illustration style. Let's change the first word from portrait to photograph and see how that makes a difference. There we go. Generally, I like the photographic portraits unless I'm specifically going for an illustration style. Interesting, that gave me some black and white options even though I didn't specify that. These guys also look more age appropriate, more like they're in their mid forties. This guy here looks too much like the actor of John Hamm. A couple of options. Let's add the word Japanese. If you didn't know, the pomps are not case sensitive. Midjourney treats everything as lower case. Okay, now John Hamm is suddenly Japanese. Cool. Let's try him as a black man. Also now I want to try an experiment. I want to start over with this prompt. We see our black man in a suit. I'm wondering, I'm curious, I'm worried, I'm concerned if Midjourney has a bias towards how it would depict a black man coming home from work if I did not remix this image from an image of a man in a suit. Let's try it. Okay, it still gives us the man in a suit. I do wonder if that's because it's tracking my previous image results and building on those. I don't think it does that, but I'm not sure. Let's try a woman. This time, we'll change the modifier from handsome to beautiful and add Latina. Hair frames a face. Don't forget the hair. Let's add a description of the hair. Long, wavy black hair with yellow highlights. I'm also going to change the age to 35. Tip number six, describe the shape of the eyes and the eye color, plus other ways of describing eyes.
Tip number seven, specify the type of character and setting. This modifier can impact clothing, pose, and all sorts of things. A beautiful, thin female model, 22 years old, wearing a flowing robe, torso, chest, shoulders, arms, incredible hair, posing in a studio at an easel. CPF photograph, Victorian era. Let's see what we get. A beautiful image. Let's break down the terms in that prompt. Beautiful, thin female. That's self-explanatory. Model. This word gives the AI a hint about the type of person you want. In this case, the word model reinforces the word beautiful. 22 years old. Specifies the age of the character. Wearing a flowing robe attempts to describe the type of clothing. Doesn't quite work in this case. So you're wearing a dress, not a robe, but does have a flowing effect. Torso, chest, shoulders, arms. These terms emphasize physical features that should be in view. It doesn't always work, but in this case, I think it helps push the dress lower to the edge of the shoulders and lowering the front to serve some cleavage. Incredible hair. I like using this description since it adds an, an unusual hairstyle. Posing in a studio at an easel. In this variation, we do not see the easel, though I have other variations that show a model posing at an easel. CPA photograph as a style to the image. Victorian era ensures the character and scene seems to be from the 1800s of England. You can also create images with two people with a slight change. Just add the word two, two pitiful thin, thin female models and so forth. What happens when we change the photography type by removing sepia and changing from the Victorian era to the Renaissance? We're starting with the same pop as before, but we're adding a background, airy room with high ceilings and large windows, natural light, Renaissance, specifying the 1500s. I get a bit more specific with a particular year, I guess. With Mid Journey, you usually have to not always had to re-roll the image set several times, try variations and slight adjustments to the pumps. Tip eight, describe the shape of the face. And we're gonna remix this with heart-shaped face. The way it's also okay. You can also stuff more words describing the face into the pump, like perfect face. Let's try that. You can also add the parameter no plumages, and that will improve the overall appearance of the face. If you're working on a younger, younger character, you may also use hyphen hyphen no freckles. Mid Journey seems to add freckles to younger people. You also can add hands to the hyphen hyphen no parameter if hands are giving you a problem. Tip number 10, facial expressions. You can add modifiers such as angry, happy, lonely, sad, but be very careful with sad. Mid Journey tends to exaggerate with sad, and the faces look look kind of ridiculous if they're sad. I mean, they're like grieving, <laughs> crying ridiculously. Other modifiers could be flirty, laughing, smiling, surprise, expressive, or describe the smile, a sly smile. Finally, let's end with a close-up. So you can see this is not as easy as it looks. For every good image, you're going to get a lot of bad images or images that just do not work. A large part of the fun with Mid Journey is the unexpected. Seeing what comes out of the AI is very enjoyable. And this part of the process that you cannot control could take you to places that you never expected. Before you realize it, you can spend hours in Mid Journey. Have fun.